everyone, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We're back for another course play and auto drive tutorial. Welcome to Alma, Missouri, where we'll be looking at a question that was posed to me by a guy called Big C Note in the comments of one of my other videos, asking, can you run two Orca wagons on the same unload loop when you're running auto drive with combines? Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you a slightly different way that I prefer because I think it avoids... Uh, some of the issues that you maybe get by running them both on one loop. But we're also going to look at how you run more than one combine as well. I've got two here, uh, but you can go up to more than that. More than that and the, the logic for them is the same of setting up your courses. So uh, we'll show you with this one um, on two. We've also got our truck here set up and we've got an unload uh, silo just up there. So I've just created a little course for this. I'll jump in this. Now, if you're watching this vid, I'm kind of hoping you've done my auto drive for beginners and uh, some of the other course play and auto drive tutorials. So you will know how to set this up. I'm not going to go into detail. We've got a nice simple uh, loop here that takes you up to the silo and back down. And you can see the way I've aligned this up to make sure that the truck is always straight um, as it pulls into its space. So um, that is what that is. Um, it's all good. You know what to do there. Right, we're in our combine engine started. Let's uh, unfold the combine. That would help, wouldn't it? We'll get it unfolded first. We've got relatively small hoppers in here. What I've done, I've put small hoppers on and relatively small um, auger wagons so that we can get through things relatively quickly. Um, what I'll do now is I will cut in a little bit just to get us started. But what we're going to do is set up a course play course as per usual. So into our course play menu, there we go. We're going to create job. Combine is already on the field, so we can see it there. Everything looking good. So open, close, course generator. Uh, we have got multiple tools. So you want to switch this, firstly, uh, to the two combines that you're going to have on the course. And they're going to do one headland each. We've got two 30-foot headers, so that's a 60-foot headland all the way around. That's quite a lot. We're going to start work on the headlands. We're going to do sharp corners i think just for a change to get as much of the crop as possible everything else i think we're going to leave as is for now so i'm going to generate field work course and there we go let's just come out of that a second look at that we only have a few passes once we've done the headland shows you how big the field is so um what we'll do we'll come back out of here now um before we start this one off i'm just going to hit the old copy course down here using this icon so we've copied that course already now you'll see when you've set up with two or more combines let's just go back in so i can show you that uh, you'll see when you've got two or more combines so up here we've got two combines it does go up to um five it used to have more in fs19 but five's our maximum now so we'll set that back to two we'll come back out we'll hit the cancel button and uh, we're going to see here as well as setting first waypoint, you'll see you've got an option here for left one. So combine number one here is going to be our left-hand combine. Um, and that's all we need to do there. So I'm going to hit go with that one. We've already copied our course down here, so I'm going to hit go with that combine there. And I'm going to jump out, let them get on with it. And I'm going to set up our second combine here. So combine number two. We'll start it up. While we're starting up, you can see we've got our green icon there to copy the course, so I'll do that. So it's dragged our course in from the last combine that we just did. I'm going to unfold everything here. And uh, we'll get everything lined up. But you can see we've got the same icons down here now. Again, we'll switch to first waypoint to make sure we've done that. But this one, rather than left one, if I click on this, it will switch to right one. Now, if you've got three combines you'll have a left one a center and a right one so um you can go from there now if you've got five combines you'll have left two left one center right one and right two to cover off all five combines so um pretty cool pretty cool right combine fired up header lower down let's roll it into its spot here and you can see the other combine just cut out the corner there, which is pretty handy. So what we'll do, we'll line this up. Everything looking good. 
We're going to hit the go button. And we're off. So there you go. You're seeing the benefit here of sharp corners rather than smooth corners. Um, let me just turn that off. Uh, you can see it's capturing all of the crop rather than leaving those little edges that we sometimes see when we do smooth corners. So what I'm actually going to do here is let both these combines run um, just for a little bit longer. Um, but then I'm going to pause them because I don't want them to go too far and get full before we've had a chance to set up our auto drive course. So in fact, this one here, I'm going to stop it right now. And I'll let the first combine just get round at the corner before I move him on. So let's just stop this one here. And there you go. The other combine, combine one, has just started going round at the top. So I'm going to stop this here. And we'll go and set up our auto drive courses. Right, over to our tractors here. Let's set up a little loop for these so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to do a very simple little loop here right let's turn on edit mode here now before you start what you don't want to do is connect to this course you can see the red line going to that course we don't want that to happen so let's just go into settings and just double check so auto connect start yes is on so we want to turn that off and then what happens when we hit record you'll just get an individual um waypoint like that that's what we want for now now we're going to give this a name as well let's call this auger one wait okay and then we're just going to run around here let's open the pipe up we can get it aligned over the truck hopefully it's high enough and it's not going to crash into the uh, the truck here can be an occupational hazard but it's looking good so there we go. Um, it will unload into the first one, then into the second one. That's a bit of a wonky line, but we'll go with it. And we'll maybe stop here with our org unload to trigger. So there we go. Again, org unload. Now again, we've talked about this before in previous vids. You want to run your unload point beyond the truck. Um, if you stopped it on that earlier point or one of the earlier points, it may stop earlier than that and not load into the second hop, especially if you've got dual hopper trailers. So always carry it a lot longer past because when it sees the trigger of the truck, it will stop anyway, unload, and then uh, move to the unload point once it's unloaded. So it's the best way to do it is to run past where you want to go. Now, let's go round here. And let's get ourselves lined back up with our weight point. So I'm taking kind of quite a wide line here, and you'll see why in a little minute. So, there we go. Now we just need to join these two up, like so. And that is our course ready, our first auger wagon course ready so what we're going to do now we're going to run the combines um, and we're going to put both of these auger wagons on this one loop here so i've pulled our second auger wagon into place there so what we're going to do we're going to select the right course which would be the combine course so um, we're going to be auger weight one and we're going to unload at auger unload like so that is us we should be able to hit the button here and that will move into position and wait for a combine now we'll do exactly the same in the second tractor as well and you'll see what will happen here this will just roll up behind the first auger wagon but it won't be able to get to the uh, point so it will just sit and wait so there we go so we'll go to auger one wait and we're going to unload at auger unload again turn that on and it will just roll up behind the other auger wagon like so so they are good to go now you can see down in the auto drive box there it says no harvester with the same target found 
That's because we haven't assigned those to the hot combines yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put both combines on auger one weight. So let's go and do that now. Fire up the combines and then everything should start working. So here we are back in combine one. Let's pull up auto drive again. We will select auger one weight. Um, and every time that the combine now opens its pipe here, it will call an auger wagon. Um, now, going along the headlands here, it may have to cut in on the first headland. Always a bit of a challenge on the headlands, but we'll give it a go. Um, but that looks pretty good. So what we'll do, we'll pull up course to play again. Nothing changes other than we go to nearest waypoint rather than first waypoint. Uh, and we hit the go button. And he'll pick up where he left off. Now we'll quickly go and do the second combine. Because I want to make sure this is done and running by the time that first combine is full. So again, we're going to go to nearest waypoint, we're going to open up auto drive, and we're going to select auger one wait. So auger one wait is just there where the two augers are waiting. Um, we don't need to turn on auto drive or anything, you just need to make sure that's selected. Um, nearest waypoint down here, and go. So there we go, both combines running now. Both combines filling up. Combine number one is going to be ready first. So let's go and check what's happening. Now, I'm just going to change a couple of settings to help you as well. When our first guy here, look, he's already been triggered. Look at that, straight away. Um, I'm going to change a few settings here. So here, I want to restrict pathfinder to field i'm going to say yes to that restrict unloader to field and un and avoid fruit i want to have all of those three on yes that seems to work best for me now look at that he's even gone around combine number two there although combine number two has been triggered by his pipe being out you see the challenge you have there sometimes it can be a slight issue with um driving past other combines but he's worked it out he's got away with it now we're heading down here. And the reason he's been called is because combine number one has opened his pipe. Which you can see up there. Now what should happen is when combine number two down there opens his pipe, the second auger wagon should come in and sort things out. So let's just watch and wait and see what happens there. So we've jumped into combine one here. Potentially a bit of a challenge here because... Uh, combine 2 is about to head past it is, look at it, it's getting to the auger wagon it's going to unload into it but while he's waiting oh no he's gone past, that's okay this sometimes happens, it is uh, the nature of the beast when you're running multiple combines and multiple pull uh, uh, auger wagons, but he should go round the side here at 98% on the corner typically and he opens his pipe, and here comes, hopefully, auger wagon number one. So I've just jumped back here. He was trailing combine number two there. And in fact, look what happened. Again, this trigger, when you have uh, two combines running on one course, because he has to drive past him, he's automatically triggered that, uh, that second combine because he was in his way. Now he'll stop that. So what he's trying to do now is get to combine one, but he can't get there because he keeps on triggering combine two. Now, one way of getting around this is to separate your combines out a lot more. And we fully emptied combine two there. So now he will reverse again. And at least now he won't be triggered by combine two when he drives past him and he'll be able to get to combine one. Now, yeah, one of the options you can do here is space your combines out a lot more so they're further apart so they don't catch each other as much. So now, comedically, I didn't even see him coming, but uh, Auger Wagon 2, which is on the same course as Auger Wagon 1, has come along to empty this combine. So we've had to wait quite a while before this guy arrived, but now he's here, and he's unloading from combine number 1 whilst... This guy is sitting here with not much more 
and maybe half a load in. There we go, 37% in. So, all a little bit confusing. Everything's getting a little bit tied up here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop both the combines. I'll let them unload first. I'm going to stop combines again, and I'll show you a way to get around this kind of issue. So what we're going to do, we'll leave this one here completely as it is. So let's just jump in here. All go one weight. We're going to leave that exactly as it is, okay? But what we're going to do, we're going to take this guy, and we're going to change the course up a little bit. So I'm going to run down back to our start point, and you'll see what I'm going to do here which should make all the difference. So here we are, heading back to our start point. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a spur here off our auger wagon course. I'm just going to spin around here, find a decent point to peel off from. So say, let's say... Let's just go from that one we've just gone past there. So let's just go from here. I'm going to take uh, the record here. Now let's just join that up while we're here. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to turn inside the other course. Like so. And I'm going to stop about here. There we go. I just wanted a trigger point there. So again, we're going to call this Augur to wait we're going to okay that and then we're just going to carry this on and rejoin this course here so it's still going to go around the same loop it's still going to go to the same unload point over there but it's now going to be at auger 2 weight so we've got two weight points one unload point um and then we're going to switch one of the combines over to auger 2 weight. So we've got two combines calling two separate grain carts, keeping things slightly separate. So let's change this to auger 2 weight. Let's switch that on. He's going to loop around now. You'll see as well the red text has popped back up here. No harvester with the same target found. He's just going to run this loop to make sure that it works. And then he'll go back to auger 2 weight. There we go, so we'll just check that this works. And there he is, he will roll up to Auger 2 weight here. And he'll stop. Right, back in combine number two. So, if this combine's on Auger 1 weight, we're going to change this combine to Auger 2 weight. Again, we don't need to turn auto drive on. Um, make sure you're on the nearest waypoint and hit course play to go again, and you're off. And then we'll just quickly run around here and trigger this guy to go as well. So there you go. You've got your two combines running again, but you've now got two orgo wagons, one servicing each combine rather than two orgo wagons trying to service two combines uh, and all being on the same course. Because as you've seen. With that example just there that demo and i'm glad it worked like it did because uh, that's the that's the challenge i tend to get every now and again is that you get uh, confusion going on they get too close to the other combines they try and unload from the wrong combines you end up with combines full and waiting for ages uh, and both orgo wagons concentrating on looking after one other combine and things like that so for me this has been the best way to resolve that problem if you want to run two orgo wagons and two combines allocate one to each of the two combines um, and it works a whole heap better so we'll let them cut out these corners like i said the headlands are a bit of a frustration um, especially when you've gone for sharp edges like i have done here i should have gone for smooth just for ease to show you what to do in the demo but at least you get to see how uh, the sharp corners work and how much more uh, of the crop is saved um, but we'll stay on this combine for a little bit this is auger one weight so that the, the um, auger wagon you see at the top of the screen there is linked to this combine now dedicated to this combine and then auger wagon 2 which is over there is dedicated to the second combine down here 
So we'll let them do their thing. Now you see that we have just arrived at 60%, which is our trigger point for opening the auger on the combine. And you can see just in the top of the screen there, the auger wagger one has already started running towards the combine. Now he's just finishing the headland here. Um, so he's going to start on his first up and down row. Uh, but you can see that the other tractor is heading down our way. So there we go. He's pulled up alongside us. He's going to keep tracking combine here. This combine's just got to the end of the headland course there. So he's going to get organised. Now he's going to turn in here. So there he goes. He's turned in. And he's starting his first up and down row. You can also see now that Combine 2's auger pipe has opened. And Auger Wagon 2 is starting to get organised and lined up to join him as well. Right. There we go. Combine number 1 just cut in there. And Auger Wagon 1 has pulled up alongside to let him unload and you'll see combine number two there sitting behind uh, still with grain in is waiting because he's got too close to combine number one and auger wagon number two is sitting behind waiting as well so everything looking good here quite impressed with how that's worked actually sometimes they can get a little bit funny on some of the courses uh, they tend to not get in each other's way um, if you're careful but there we go auger wagon number one moving out of the way now he may trigger the auger on combine 2 this is one of the challenges when you're running them close together he may trigger the auger on combine 2 but it looks like it's just a little bit too far away which is actually what we want um, now he's just going to sit there and wait until he's needed again just turn that off um, so hopefully auger wagon number 2 will drive around him when he needs to be triggered. So let's just watch. We'll jump to auger, uh, combine number two now and watch as auger wagon number two gets called. But here we go, running combine two, only 55, 56% in the tank in this one. So he will do another pre call in a minute. When we hit 60%, there we go, 60% hit. Pipe out, and we should see tractor number two head towards us now he should work out yes look look at that he's worked out there was a tractor in the way and avoided it and now he's going to run down and he's just going to tail this combine until he gets to uh 85 90 percent before unloading or he might unload him on the fly actually well there we go sometimes this happens as well it almost works it out for itself um if the space for it to work it can unload on the fly now watch combine one will open its walker pipe as well as it goes past just because it sees the trigger there it goes but it'll put it away again straight away as the trigger will go past there we go now, it did throw things off slightly there we've got 17 percent left in that that double trigger is a bit frustrating sometimes but here we go we'll line up again here and they'll start going again and then basically that's it it can be a bit temperamental you're obviously adding a lot more to it by running more vehicles but i uh i enjoy way the way it works with uh, multiple combines it really does uh, add an extra layer of uh, immersion and when it clicks i tell you the feeling is fantastic so um we'll just run these for a little bit now you can keep an eye on things look even auger wagon number two is moving here um and will probably continue to unload now. Now that there's open space in the field, um, it will feel confident enough to keep unloading on the fly, which is great. As will um, Auger Wagon 1 now, to be honest, which is just about to turn around and go into place as well. Now we've jumped back to Auger Wagon 1, who had had enough of waiting and is going to unload his first load. He's on 100%. So there you go. And again, with your trigger passed, so there's our trigger for auger unload. 
is going to unload. So there you go. He's in uh, hopper two now. Everything will go into there. And when that's full, he'll fill the one before it. So as he rolls away now, he has left 11% in. Um, he filled the second hopper first. But you can see just behind there, Orga Wagon number two is unloading into the first hopper of the tractor or the trailer. And uh, we're going back to our weight point number one. And we should, as soon as we get there, I think the combines are full, it should trigger us to go back into the field. And at the same time, you can see there, our truck is heading off as well. So all parts of the machine at the moment are working well. We're back in combine one. Orga wagon number one has arrived and is unloading. And you can see Orga wagon two. You can see the truck up at the at the uh, cell point. The Orga wagon two pulling back to its trigger point. You see combine opening its auger and Orga wagon two heading on over to unload. At the same time, Orga wagon one moving out of the way here. He'll park up. Just out of reach of Orga Wagon 2, or just out of reach of Combine 2, hopefully. Which it looks like he has. And away we go. And now, look, <laughs> a little bit of a nudge there. A gentle kiss. Because he wants him to get out of the way. And again, he'll rework his route slightly here to get around that tractor. Hopefully that will move again in a minute, too. Like I said, you do have slight challenges with more than one vehicle. So here we go. We're back in Combine 2 now, and you can see that our auger wagon is just turning around. We'll get into position. And he'll hopefully unload us as we head down. They do go quite a long way away. Um, I think... Auto drive. Make sure that uh, there is enough distance to make a full turn and, uh, and be able to hit the combine straight on here. So you can see now running down the line there. And again, he stopped and he's waiting. Pull up, 99%. So in just a second, and that will move over and get under the under the uh, pipe. There it goes. Slightly worried it wasn't going to do it then. At the same time, looks like uh, Auger Wagon number one is heading back to his combine too. So it does this sometimes as well, Auto Drive. Takes a little bit of time to get itself aligned, but once it does, it should be fine. There we go. He'll hit his marks this time. Here we go, Combine 2 on his merry way again. Combine 1 passing us on the other side. Orga Wagon 1 tailing him nicely. And we're going to finish this field in double quick time. So there you have it. Um, like I said, there's a lot more moving parts to it than if you're just running one Combine and one Orga Wagon. But when you get it right, it does work. Definitely my tip for you is to have two separate weight points and have an Orga Wagon... Uh, servicing each combine individually rather than trying to run more than one auger wagon uh, on more than one combine um, it just causes some of that grief that we saw at the start of the vid where uh, things get a little bit confused and uh, uh, everything gets a little bit snarled up when you've got dedicated auger wagon linked to a dedicated combine you could have five auger wagons you could have three auger wagons you can have as many as you want um, it seems to work just that little bit better um, so on that note while we finish off this field I am going to say thank you very much for watching again any questions any comments that you have any way that you want to know something else about course plate or auto drive leave me a leave me a message and I'll see if I can sort it out for you uh, more than happy to help where I can and, and if my knowledge stretches that far but um, I hope that was helpful if you did appreciate it and you want to show your thanks, uh, why not leave your favourite emote in the comments 
uh, because it helps the engagement with the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you again very soon. Bye for now.